We find ourselves yet again addressing the burning question on everyone's mind. What third-party games can I get for my Nintendo Switch, and are they worth it? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be discussing everyone's favorite RC car, soccer, slash basketball, slash hockey minigame, Rocket League. Rocket League released for the Nintendo Switch back in 2017, but that doesn't mean that new purchasers of said console, or those whose only console is a Switch, already own the game. Therefore, this video may serve as a guide to whether or not you should buy... Wait a minute, the game is free now? Uh, well, let's just say get this game. Before we get into some gameplay, I would like to talk about why people may get this game. Listen up, Phil! Now, this video is not necessarily meant for Nintendo fanboys. The primary purpose of this video, and series in general, is to give those who own the game on high-end consoles or PCs a basic idea of how their favorite games may perform on Switch. But, like I say in every video, those whose only console is a Switch and want to know whether or not said games will be justifiably purchasable or gettable on their only available console can also hopefully determine the answer to the question, is it worth it, by watching this video. So, just thought I'd clear that up as to not make anybody upset. Getting into the game now, all footage featured using a capture card is from docked mode gameplay, and obviously footage captured with a camera is from handheld mode. Beginning with gameplay. This game is playable with every optional controller Nintendo has supplied for the Switch, except for the SNES and NES controllers. The game can be played using the Grip, the Pro Controller, my preferred method, and also a single Joy-Con, which I find really cool and convenient for those wanting to play the game with friends on the go, or if they only have a single pair of the flagship controllers. Having played this game on Xbox One, where the intro footage of this video was supplied from, I feel right at home playing the game comfortably on a Nintendo Switch, although I'm not very good at it, if that wasn't blatantly obvious. The game is downloadable from the Nintendo eShop for free, or you can spare $60 and purchase a collector's edition of the game on a physical copy. I purchased the game on the eShop back when it was still $20, so you can imagine my frustration when I found out a week later that the game's price had been permanently deducted to $0. Oh well. Now comes the Nintendo fanboys' favorite parts to criticize. How will this so-called PC elitist roast the graphics and frame rate of the game on Switch? Well, it's actually not bad on this one. The resolution of the game will change depending on what map you play on. As you can see, more jaggies appear on more graphically intensive maps. This is most likely to keep a consistent frame rate no matter where you want to play. The frame rate at times may drop below what I can assume is 30, which to us PC elitists makes us cry. In all seriousness, it's really not too bad, and it's awesome that a console like the Switch can handle playing the game. In handheld mode, this is also noticeable, but I can easily look past it considering some cheap to mid-range laptops can't even play this game with a solid frame rate. Now, what did Nintendo include as a console exclusive on this one? On most AAA or third-party games released on Switch, Nintendo adds, well, Nintendo-related things. On Rocket League, they added Mario and Luigi skins for your cars. Alright. But what is pretty cool about this is that when you jump your car, it makes the same sound effect as Mario when he jumps in the Super Mario Bros. series. Now we've come to this point. Let's answer the question. Should you buy uh, get Rocket League for the Nintendo Switch? Yes, you should. But if Rocket League doesn't interest you, then don't. And why did you watch this then? You might not be able to participate in the eSports side of the game on a Switch, or be able to gawk at the beautiful graphics and high frame rates of the high-end console versions, but if you want a game to add to your Switch library that's both fun and challenging, Rocket League is the way to go. Thanks for tuning into this video. If you want to see more like this, check out my other reviews, and I'll hopefully see you all next time.